Hey Rick, I'm trying to learn programming and stuff, but I'm confused about this thing called a linked list. What even is that? Break? Wubba, lubba, dub dub. Listen up, Morty. A linked list isn't rocket science. Though I could build you a rocket blindfolded with some paper clips and a bottle of whiskey. It's just a chain of nodes, Morty. Each node has two parts, Tuz. Some data and a pointer to the next node. Think of it like those stupid conga lines at your school dances. Each person is holding onto the shoulders of the person in front of them. That's your pointer. The last node points to Inuel. Morty, no. It's like the void, Morty. You might be wondering why anyone would use this instead of an array. Because the universe isn't built for your convenience. Arrays need contiguous memory, which means you need a big chunk of free space. Linked lists can be scattered all over the place. You can add nodes easily without having to reallocate the whole damn thing. It's like my collection of crystals from Dimension C-137. They don't need to be stored together to be connected. The trade-off is you can't just jump to any position like in an array. You gotta traverse the list one by one, starting from the head. It's a classic space-time trade-off. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice instant access for flexibility. So there you have it. Linked lists are perfect when you need to constantly add and remove elements, but terrible when you need random access. That's how the multiverse works. Everything's a trade-off, and that's the way the news goes. Oh, jeez. If you liked learning about linked lists with us, don't forget to follow for more videos, and maybe share your thoughts in the comments.